quick end to a manhunt in Tampa. A man who was suspected in several home invasions and sexual assaults was shot and killed by police. Randy Jolenhall is live in the newsroom. Randy, this all came to an end after a car chase. Yeah, police had been tracking this guy for hours. They finally found him, but he drove off, speeding down a busy Tampa highway, shooting at police out of his window. The high-speed chase ended with a swerve, the suspect's car fishtailing along a Tampa highway, then crashing into a ditch. Seconds later, gunfire erupts. The suspect unloads on police, but they return fire, killing the 24-year-old Charlie Christopher Bates. The manhunt began hours earlier, police searching for Bates after he held four men hostage and raped four women near the USF college campus. It appears to be random attacks. It appears to be focused mainly on adults. Police say Bates also broke into an apartment where 20 plus people were watching a football game. The way he was pointing a gun at all of us was making us terrified. Victims say he forced everybody into the bedroom at gunpoint, but then took off. I was very sure that uh, some of us in the room are going to die. That was sure, because the way he was furious, because we called 911. Police spent the night and all morning searching for him. His car was eventually located, but Bates fled. Police say a large amount of gunfire was exchanged, but somehow no officers were injured. And after the shootout, the suspect was taken to a nearby hospital. He died of his injuries about an hour after the chase. The manhunt shut down a number of local Tampa area schools. Police say Bates is also linked to numerous other armed robberies during the last few months. We're live tonight. Randy Gyllenhaal, WPBF 25 News. Randy, thanks.